So let's look at logarithmic equations with multiple logarithms. For example, maybe we have the sum of two logarithms. The logarithm of x plus the logarithm of x minus one, and that equals something. Let's say that equals equals a three. Well, if you didn't have two logarithms, if you only had one logarithm, we would know how to solve this we'd remind ourselves that the logarithm, the natural logarithm, I mean, is the logarithm base e. And we would use that to set up an equation. We have done stuff like that before. In fact, we spent all class yesterday on it. So what's the problem? Well, we don't have one logarithm. We have two. But that is not an insurmountable problem because we know a way to come by logarithms together. The logarithm of a product is the sum of the logarithms. And we can go the other way from right to left. The sum of two logarithms is the logarithm of a product. So we can rewrite to this using this property. The sum of these logarithms is the logarithm of the product of the things we're taking the logarithm of. And now we can proceed just as we proposed to proceed. This is the logarithm base e. We can rewrite this. And now we'll have several th steps left to do. We are by no means done but we've at least eliminated the logarithm. And if this perhaps seems um, 
complicated, like some complicated expression. Well, don't be fooled by that e cubed. I mean, e cubed is just a number. It is sharing my calculator e cubed. is 20.085537. And the right-hand side of this, if we multiply this out, this multiplication distributes over this subtraction is x squared minus x. And if we then take this expression and bring it over here via subtraction, What we have is something we know or we have learned and hopefully remember how to deal with. We've got a quadratic expression set equal to zero. And we can solve that to using the quadratic formula. Before I do so, do you have any questions about the process we used to go from this statement about to logarithms down to this statement about a quadratic. If there are no questions, let's proceed. Uh, maybe get this a little further up. X equals negative B. Well, B is negative one, so that's positive one plus or minus the square root, negative one squared is one, minus four times a times this decimal. It's obviously not the loveliest thing in the world. All divided by two times one. I see you. Uh, where do you mean this four? This four comes from the quadratic formula. Remember negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared. Okay, so we'll uh, plug this into our calculator, I guess. It's not going to be lovely, but if we're careful, we can hopefully not 
not make any mistakes. So we've got a fraction, something divided by something else. So that numerator and denominator are going to both be in parentheses. And let me see, one minus. We've got a plus and a minus. We just have to do these one by one. One minus the square root of one minus four times one times this lengthy decimal, negative 20.08557. That's it for the numerator, right? Here's yeah, negative b minus b squared minus 4ac, all divided by, well, a is 1. So this. And we get a solution. And I'm going to have more to say about this solution shortly. For now, I'm just going to jot it down. Second entry. And we've got plus or minus. The minus will turn into a plus. 5.00949 zero, zero, four, four, zero, However, this requires comment. Let me very quick tear this out. And the reason I'm going to, the reason I'm doing this is to try to rearrange it so that you can see my equation and my solutions together. So here's the original equation before we rewrote it. And here are our solutions. And I'd like to plug these solutions into the equation and check our answers. So the natural log of 5.00949 zero, zero, four, four, zero, plus the natural log of that same thing. or divided by one. This is supposed to equal three. So cross our fingers, hope we didn't do anything wrong. And vindication, making allowances. You see, even though I kept all these decimals, we have noticeable rounding error, but making allowances for that rounding error, this is equal 
to three. So, exactly what was supposed to happen. No surprise there. Let's do this next. Once again, share the screen. The natural log of negative 4.009494 minus the natural log of negative 4.009494 minus 1. <laughs> And we get an error message, non-real answer. So what's going on here then? Well, what's going on here? is that the logarithm of a negative number is not defined. So we got this negative x. We tried to plug it in here, but then we had the logarithm of a negative number, and we got an error message. So, if you are solving, an equation like this, and by like this, I mean involving multiple logarithms and then combining them together, you can get these fake solutions that don't Surely work. <laughs> the good news, I guess, is that the only way you can have these sort of fake solutions is because of this, because it involves taking the logarithm of a negative number. What you can't have is a situation where the logarithm is defined, but the equality isn't true. 
like when I plug this five point whatever decimal into the logarithm, I knew going in that this was going to work because this number is positive. So this logarithm is defined. This number minus one is positive. So this logarithm is defined. So I knew this was going to work. The only reason you run into this problem is if you get a solution that would make one of these things negative.